Hi, and welcome back to analyzing software using deep learning. This is the second part of the introduction. And what I want to do in this second part is to just say a few words about the organization of the course. So what kind of lectures and other material is part of the course, um, what this course project is about, and also how the grading works. The course consists of 10 lecture modules and every module is split into different parts that basically give you shorter videos to watch, um, such as this one, which is the second part of the first module. The, um, yeah, these lectures will be shared throughout the semester, so roughly every week or so you will get um, another of these um, lectures. In addition to the lectures, there's some other reading material, in particular the research papers that this course is based on, and some tutorials um, that prepare you for the more hands-on experience that you'll have during the course project. The course project itself will be introduced in a couple of weeks, specifically on May 22nd, and then you have roughly two months to actually work on the project. And on July 17th, that's the last Friday in the lecture period, you'll have to submit the project. In between, you have the opportunity to go to uh, weekly office hours. They are individual, so it's basically you and uh, a teaching assistant who will help you um, um, through the project and who can also um, assess your progress. So if you're not sure whether you're um, doing well or not, um, then please use this opportunity and get some feedback. Um, so our experience shows that people who go regularly or at least a few times to these office hours typically do much better in the course project. After the last week of the regular lecture period, um, so in the week of July 20th to 24th, there will be a presentation of the projects where basically everybody has to present his or her um, project to, uh, yeah, to me and the teaching assistant. And then finally, there's also a written exam. So at the um, end of the semester in the usual exam period, um, there will be a written exam about the content that is presented here in this course. How does the grading work? So the final grade consists of two parts that are each weighted equally. The one half is the written exam, which um, covers all the contents of the lectures and the reading material. It's an open book exam, which means it will test your understanding and not your memory. So you can bring everything you want, uh, including books, papers, printed slides, and so on, as long as it's non-electronic, um, because we do not uh, allow uh, yeah, laptops, uh, mobile phones, and so on. The exam will be one hour and will be um, in the usual exam period. The other half of the grade um, comes from the course project. And in particular, what we'll look at here is, is four things. One is the originality of your approach. So basically, have you been able to come up with a creative solution to the problem um, that, you, that you'll see? Um, how effective is your implementation? So we will actually run your code and, and run it on, on new examples that you have not seen before and see how well it works. We'll also look at the quality of your code and um, things like documentation. So basically, is your code in a shape where someone else could continue working with it? And finally, there will be this oral presentation of the projects, which is also part of the grade. As a place for discussions around this course, we'll use a forum in Ilias. Um, if you have not yet registered um, for this course in Ilias, then please do so. The link is just at the bottom of this slide. Um, We'll also use Ilias occasionally during these lectures for some quizzes where I'll basically ask you some questions during the lecture and then you're supposed to vote for the correct answer um, while, while just um, pausing the video for a few minutes. And um, I'll also use Ilias to share any additional material that for whatever reason I cannot share um, on the um, public course website. Um, please use the forum in Ilias for any question that you might have um, about this course, unless of course you can ask it um, in one of the other occasions, like for example the weekly office hours for the for the project. Whenever I want to send some message to all students taking this course, in particular things related to um, grading or, or the exam and so on, um, then I'll do this through Ilias, so make sure that you are receiving these messages in Ilias. Because this course is really about a state-of-the-art research, there is no single book or single script that really covers everything. 
Um, instead, I'll make all the material that you see here, so all the slides and also the handwritten notes that I'll produce um, during the lectures, available with the lecture, so you can use those for learning. And then, of course, um, I'll share pointers to papers, book chapters, and web resources that you can use as additional um, yeah, material to, to, to study with on your own. Let me say a few more words on the uh, course project. So more details will be shared in a couple of weeks on May 22nd. But for now, there are a couple of things that I can already tell you. So one of them is that this will be an individual project. So everybody works on it um, on her own or his own. It is gonna be the same task for everybody. So you'll all work on the same um, problem basically, but of course you'll hopefully come up with different solutions. Um, it's an individual project, which means you're not allowed to collaborate. You're not allowed to share um, your ideas with the others. Um, basically the same rules as in exams apply. If you would share um, your, your, yeah, your code or your ideas with others, this would basically count as cheating. So what you'll have to do in the project is to design, implement and evaluate a learning-based program analysis, um, just as many of the analyses that we'll cover in this course, but this will be your own, so you'll, you'll really understand what's going on and have an, yeah, an opportunity to, to play with the different trade-offs in designing um, this analysis. It will be based on existing libraries and framework. Um, it would be crazy to reinvent everything from scratch. So in particular, we'll use Python as the programming language and PyTorch as the framework for um, implementing um, the machine learning part of the, of the project. All right, and this is already everything I wanna say about the organization of this course. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask them in Ilias. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for listening and see you next time.